everybody. I'm doing something a little different here today and um, I'm going to talk about some percussion and the percussion that I'm going to talk about is what we can do while we're playing the banjo just with our right hand. I'm not talking about any feet or nothing like that. I'm just talking about what we can do with just our right hand and specifically our thumb. Now, we can do things with our hands too. But I like to use the thumb. As you can see here, I have a very dark spot that's happening and it's even tearing up a little bit of my head there. And that is for me whapping that thing a million times, obviously. But, um, and why you can also see my pretty design on here that my hubby did for me. <laughs> anyway, I had a lot of questions this past week. Um, and when I say a lot, man, I really had a lot. Um, a lot of questions about this thumb whap deal and how to start it, how to do it. So here we go. Um, I've got, I'm in sawmill here. So that means I'm tuned, everything's normal except for this second string is tuned from a B up to a C. I've also got a rag back here to mute this bad boy down a little bit so you can hear it more. Alright, so I'm just going to play uh, what my husband calls coffee house. <laughs> so I'm going to play clock old hen coffee house style. And that means just slowing it way down. I'm going to use the percussion and let you hear what that sounds like. And then we'll talk about it. Stuff like that, okay? Here we go. So um, that was that percussion. Now let me speed it up a little bit. Let's talk a little bit and we'll play some more too. All right, so um, to show you this, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's go back to our basics, right? Let's go back to the basic claw hammer stroke. I know y'all love that. Um, let's root our thumb, all right? And let's do the basic. Drop that thumb, that strum, that brush, 
and we in place put this little bad boy right here in there all right slower with it, all right? Now let's drop it. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Bring it back in. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Now drop it. to add another little tool in your toolbox. This is one of those tools you can add, all right? So we want to, now this is different than this. This is that double thumb, but I'm doing the thumb whack with it. My rag is moving around on me. That's one of the hazards of having a cheap mute. You have to adjust it. So, let's do all three ways, all right? I love that groove. Here's the third way. three of those are distinctly different. That's important. Now, put those into songs. Put all three of them in there and mix them up. And voila. Look at that variation. Hate to say that word. I've put that word in videos like 20 times now it seems like. Alright, so now let's do version one. Regular strums. Now let's try a little bit of thumb whapping. Now let's try some of the double thumb. was all three. Um, I hope, I sincerely hope that that has helped you figure out how to add another tool into your box. And I want you to always, always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.